Good morning, my name is James Setter. I bring you today's Advent devotion on the gift of purpose. Our Bible reading for today is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 18 to 23. It reads, Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with the child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. So we know from the Bible that the purpose of Jesus' birth was to take on human nature and be born as a baby into the world to save sinners. Jesus' birth fulfilled the will of the Father by restoring, by restoring humanity to God. His birth also fulfilled the law and prophets. Jesus' birth brought joy and light into a dark world. Within Jesus' purpose of salvation, he defeated the devil and his works to give us eternal life. By so doing, Jesus fulfilled his purpose on earth. When Jesus returned to the Father, he left us with the Holy Spirit, who equips and empowers us daily to live changed lives on purpose and to continue to fulfill Jesus' purpose on earth until he comes again. Like Jesus, each of us was born to fulfill a specific purpose in this world. Even though we might not choose to acknowledge it or have it figured out yet, God designed every single person with an incredibly unique combination of gifts that he wants to use to grow his church. God has placed clues in our hearts through the Holy Spirit to guide us in discovering our purpose. The various experiences we have had in our lives on their own they may seem irrelevant but together they are leading us towards something meaningful that God can use to his glory. In this current economic climate we don't have to know how God will use our experiences or situations but we ought to be assured that God is with us Emmanuel. This should give us the hope to carry on over and over again in the Bible, we see examples of God taking the darkest experiences and most difficult situations in people's lives and using them for his glory. There is therefore purpose in pain as much as we are created for purpose. I want to therefore encourage us today that no matter what you are going through or experience in this season, you can find hope, peace, love, and joy in the fact that Jesus is the reason for the season. His birth gives meaning and purpose to our lives. His birth is the reason for all the happiness we see around us. I know we cannot choose the circumstances we find ourselves in. But I know one thing for sure, that we can choose to reflect on all that Jesus has done for us. We can choose to be thankful to God this season for including us in his master plan for salvation and eternal life. His vision for our lives through the birth of Jesus Christ. We also need to trust him to direct our steps as we move forward towards the purpose he has planned for us. 
Thank you. And remember, I just want to leave you with this, that Jesus Christ is the reason for the season.